Hello there, and welcome to LazyBot's First Tech Challenge News. I'm Grant. And I'm Rachel. Our first story today will be on FTC Team 6209 Venom. The team posted a CAD video of their robot's design and functions. Let's take a look. The LazyBots applaud Venom for spending so much time and effort to design their robot using CAD. We know just how much effort that can take. Great job, Venom. Let's take a look at a couple of their other videos. Next, let's talk about the Minnesota FTC Stratasys State Championship. Some of the teams that will be attending include Team 7152 Robot Squad from Rochester, Minnesota, Team 7190 Green Girls from Egan, Minnesota, Team 7898 Ice from Prior Lake, Minnesota, and Team 4386 Nova Knight from St. Paul, Minnesota. At their very first qualifier, the first year Team 7152 Robot Squad has won the Inspire Award. They were also nominated for the Stratasys, Motivate, Innovate, and Connect Award. The team previously participated in FLL, which clearly relates to their success in FTC. Team 7190 Green Girls is Egan's only all-girls team. They have won the Motivate Award and have been nominated for the Inspire, Innovate, Connect, and Think Awards. We're expecting some real tough defense from the Green Girls at the state championship. Team 7898 ICE has won the THINK Award and has been nominated for the INSPIRE, CONTROL, and MOTIVATE Award. Team 4386 Nova Knights has won the PTC Design Award and has been nominated for the MOTIVATE Award. We look forward to see all the teams attending the state championship. Huge shout out to Team 7658 Robot Pie from Egan, Minnesota and Team 4605 Robo Hackers from Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. RoboHackers was our finalist Alliance Captains, and RobotPi was our winning Alliance Captain. Now let's switch over to Andrew interviewing Team 7882 Boss Bots from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Thanks Rachel. So how's your team been doing this year? Uh, really great. Uh, we started out as a slow year, but thanks to help from the Lazy Bots, uh, we were able to get our robot up and running, and now we're going to states. Can you explain some of the functions your robot does? Uh, our main function is probably our drive system, which lets us turn our robot 360 degrees without with staying while well, staying in the same spot. Uh, we can also raise the flag, and and we can raise the flag and raise our robot up. What does your robot do during autonomous period? Uh, during autonomous, we first drive up onto the bridge and then put the preloaded block into a crate. That's cool. So, what's your role on the team? Uh, I'm the captain, and I overall, I just help everyone. I will help with building, uh, communications, getting sponsors, anything you can name, I'll do it. Well, the lazy bots look forward to seeing you at the state championship. Thanks. We hope to see you there too. And congratulations to all teams that made it to states or just competed in regionals. Thank you, Andrew. As many of the FTC teams know already, Hitechnic and LEGO are struggling to keep up with the high demand of motor controllers, gears, 360 degree beacons, and more. Some teams are even asking other teams to sell them motor controllers. Another issue many teams have experienced this year is wires falling out of their motor controllers. The Lazy Bots have created a solution that proves to be successful. Let's have a look. Over to you, Andrew. Thanks, Rachel. Um, this year, our problem was that all of our wires would get disconnected from the motor controllers because there was so much stress on them and they were mounted sideways so it was hard to put it back in. So we put the motor controllers on the plexiglass to help prevent static buildup. And then, as you can see here, the wires are straight down and then they are hot glued on top so then they would stay, they could wiggle around all in here, but they are straight and they won't move at all down here. So they won't get disconnected. 
And then these are Anderson power poles and all, they're really easy to use because you can just snap them on and off. So if like this part gets like ripped off or something, we could just repair it with this part. Just like chop this part off and then reattach it on and then put it back in. Back to you guys. The last qualifier happening in Minnesota will take place on the 25th of January at Columbia Heights. We'll have a report on the qualifier after. That's all we have time for today. But before we go, take a look at this amazing and rare double hang accomplishment by Team 5073 Goldfish and Team 7330 Overlake FGC. I'm Rachel. And I'm Grant. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time on Lizzie Bond's podcast.